so again, I'm part of, along with Val and Serenity, the Virtual Worlds Education Consortium. And one of the things that we're trying to do is to highlight you educational know. groups here in Second Life, as well as other virtual worlds, to kind of show what can be done. And I was invited here uh, by Fiona, and we have come to several of the events here and, and really love them and, and love the, first of all, the language learning that happens. Again, I'm I, I'm seeing it from kind of the outside looking in, but also just, I think, uh, the good people that are part of this sim. And I think that's what really education and virtual world should be about is uh, good people, good teachers, and learning. So I wanted to highlight what you're doing here because I think it's inspirational, and I think it's a model that others could, could uh, tag on to. So... You know, the questions I think we'll we'll try and just be open ended and if there's you know, there's there's really no right answer or wrong answer, I want I want first of all to just highlight your story, how this came to be, as well as the events and things that happen here and and is it do you see benefits as far as learning as well as just uh, the social pieces? First of all, could I get everybody to introduce themselves, just their, if they want to just use their, their Second Life name, they can, but if you want to use your name, tell maybe what your role is here at Cyprus, and I guess really we'll stick with that name and what your role is here at Cyprus. So maybe we'll start with, we'll go to the far end here, if we could go to Misty. We'll okay. Work our way. Okay, thank you. Uh, my name is Misty Slade. I am one of the founders of Cypress Chat and I have uh, several activities here, also over at Cypress Japan. And uh, I basically manage land uh, with Fiona's help these days. <laughs> so that's what I do these days, not much. <laughs> Uh, I have lots of help these days, so thank you, everyone. Thank you, Misty. Uh, Operative Phoenix? Oh, I, my name is Operative Phoenix. I'm one of those underlings in here where I started to come here a few years back that uh, I wanted to learn how to teach English because my background is history. So I started to go to Misty's class and uh, Duke's class and Acumen's class to learn how to teach English. And then Misty, Acumen and Duke, they all have great classes that I, I learned a whole bunch of techniques to 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 teach and, and I I formed my own session the activity and I've been working on still learning how to teach <laughs> but I, I've been doing some English and history activity here. Akume? Hi everyone. Um my name is Akume. You can pronounce it any way you want. Uh, it's a made-up name based on two very short words in Japanese. I came here because of sword fighting, actually. <laughs> I wanted to learn how to do this game in Second Life. And uh, it was a lot of the people that were doing it were Japanese. And we were using Japanese uh, phrases, and it was so much fun. And I thought, oh, wouldn't it be cool to learn a little Japanese? And then I found this place and I was like, oh, this is great. I, you know, I can communicate and learn a little Japanese and that sort of thing. And like everyone else who comes here, you know, it's like, well, gosh, maybe, maybe I could offer something. And uh, in real life, I, I, I'm a science geek. I love science. And so I thought, well, gee, I'll do, I'll do a science thing. Um, it will be a little more advanced for the advanced speakers, but 
it seems like I have a following. <laughs> so we have some very dedicated uh, participants who come and it's fascinating. It's really fun. I have learned more, I think, more English than I've learned Japanese <laughs> because we just don't realize all the little like idioms and phrases that we use every day. We don't even know we're saying them. So I've learned a lot and just made a lot of good friends here. It's It's been a joy to do it. Oh, and I, I guess I could say too, I'm from Montana uh, in North America and we're kind of an unusual state. We have Yellowstone National Park and, and the, that also creates a really good topic of conversation. So, yeah, so I don't mind sharing that. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Duke. Okay. Hello, I'm Duke Van Acker. Yes, I am a charter member of Cyprus. I wouldn't necessarily call myself a founder, but I was here. I've been here since the beginning. And I am a tutor here, and twice a week on Mondays and Thursdays, I lead little activities during my, my real life evening time. Um, and uh, historically, I guess I've also done my own research in, in Cyprus. And so I've kind of been a teacher and researcher um, over the years. And, and that, that's about it. I live in Asia and I am a, well, I, I work at a university in real life. Perfect. Thank you. Fiona. I should thank you because you're the one who introduced me to this great group. So uh, do you want to introduce yourself? Sure. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Fiona Fay. I'm really just the gardener <laughs> in Cyprus. I plant the trees and the flowers. Um, I make sure that, you know, the seasons are here. Um, so every now and then I will also help with events. Um, such as parties and some sometimes some games. I will design some hunts, stuff like that, just to make Cyprus a little bit more fun and um, hopefully more active and entertaining for the students. Great, I like that. The Second Life Gardener. Um, Shosho. Hi, everybody. I'm Shosho from Japan, so I'm, I'm not good at speaking English. I'm so sorry. And I'm a leader of language exchange group between Japanese and English. And um, in my group, uh, we use a game, a word game, a shibitori. Maybe, uh, uh, yeah, Japanese people know shibitori very well, but uh, English speaking people don't know shibitori, but uh, maybe <laughs> the leader is, uh, can explain. Uh, Akiwa is very good at explaining the game. Anyway, we uh, use uh, Sibitori and uh, we enjoy the uh, Sibitori game very well. And uh, we, um, I think um, one of the, uh, one of the uh, method of way to uh, learning language is uh, language exchange is very good because uh, we have both benefits. Uh, we, uh, we don't pay any money or like that. And um, so, but um, I'm not a Japanese teacher, so I can't uh, teach Japanese, unfortunately. But um, uh, we can, we Japanese can correct uh, Japanese uh, language. And of course, uh, each uh, native speaker can uh, correct each uh, English. So uh, we uh, enjoy language exchange very much. And uh, we started the uh, activity about six or seven, seven years ago. I forget the, uh, how many years. I have been, we have been uh, running this activity, but uh, we enjoy the activity very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yoshi. Yes. Um, hello. Nice to meet you. Uh, my name is Yoshi. I am a Japanese language tutor for non-native speakers here at Cyprus Chat Group. Uh, for me, uh, it's great to see so many people getting interested in the Japanese language and uh, 
uh, of course, Japanese culture, especially through the popular media like uh, manga and anime. So I love chatting with them in Japanese. It's very exciting and uh, provides me a lot of fun, uh, which keeps me motivated. And because of this experience in here, I'd like to become a Japanese teacher in real life now. So um, anyway, uh, thank you for inviting me here today. Thank you. Oh, it's a pleasure to have you. Tom. Hey, well, my name's Tom. I joined uh, Cypress, I, I found it, uh, when uh, Yoshi's uh, Japanese class was advertised on one of the language learning forums. So I joined that to start with, and then I discovered Shosho's Shiratori, which I then joined. And then Misty roped me in to picking up uh, someone else's group who was leaving, which was uh, reading, at the moment, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Uh, which has been a uh, very fun activity with a, uh, a bunch of people introducing them to a whole variety of uh, British archaisms, uh, which I hope will one day be useful. <laughs> I'm not sure if it will be, <laughs> but everyone seems to enjoy it, so that's the important thing. Awesome, Tom. I think your experience is similar to mine when you come here and just be a part of the activities here. It's It's a welcoming group and really enjoyable. Uh, I also, we didn't bring him up on the stage, but I would like to just have uh, Toku say a hello because he's a student here. I see him quite a bit. Toku, do you want to just say hello and say a little bit about yourself? Okay, thank you. Uh, and, uh, I'm from Japan and uh, I am, uh, uh, my name Toku is a real name, and but the last name Daga was made by Linden, and uh, uh, my job is medical doctor and uh, doing family practice at my clinic, and uh, so I, I have been participating in uh, Cyprus for almost six years, and uh, I want to join every class as, as possible as, as can, I can, so that, and uh, uh, this is my lifelong exercise and uh, education um, to learn English. And uh, in case we, ha I have a uh, foreign student who uh, speak uh, English, I I need to uh, learn English to communicate with my patients. And uh, I am a, a member of a Rotary Club, and the Rotary Club has exchange students. And I need to communicate with the students uh, from abroad, and uh, I need to learn English more and more. And uh, Cyprus is the very best place to, for me to learn English. And I am appreciate the every uh, teachers and friends and and my the classmates. And I love Cyprus. Thank you. Okay, and we do have some other learners here, which is great. I'm happy to have them. Hannah, would you like to also just say a quick hello? Hello, um, I'm Hannah, and I'm from Malaysia. Um, people call me Hannah as well in real life. I think I came by here in Cyprus a few years prior to the pandemic to learn English, and I found this place by accident and um, I don't know if it's safe to say or not, but basically some troll sort of mentioned, oh, there's a place to learn English. So I, I dropped by here and um, Duke was in the middle of class teaching and he said, welcome, and I should sit down and, you know, join in. Since then I've joined several other English classes by Akume, um, um, Miss Dees as well, uh, and Opera, Operator Phoenix, um, but then the pandemic started and it sort of, uh, how to say this, but uh, in encouraged me to learn Japanese again so that I dropped out about two decades ago, personally. So now I'm focusing more on Japanese learning and English at the moment. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, White. Uh, say hello. Yeah, 
Uh, hello, my name is White Flame, but here everyone call me White. It's fine by me. Uh, I came here about a year, like more than a year already. Basically, it was uh, after a week uh, of me creating my avatar in Second Life, and I found this group. I think somewhere it was in the thousands somewhere in Second Life and or in browser. So I found it. It's really great to have opportunity to speak English uh, and also to try and learn some Japanese too. Or oh, I mean to practice some English. Yeah. Hmm. Perfect. Thank you. And we've got, let me see if we've got everybody. Oh, Power of Chance, would you introduce yourself? Hello, my name is Paul Chant. I'm um, from Kingdom of Jordan. Uh, I have been here on, I mean, on Second Life for 13 years and on Cyber Chat also for 13 years. I have improved my English in this place. It's a beautiful community to to study, I mean, especially this place because we have rules, we share respect to each other, we help each other, you know, as one, we work as one. And um, 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 thank you, that's it. Thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna return to kind of the panelists here and I did kind of tag a few people to answer these questions, but if you have, there's anybody both up here on the panel and sitting down, feel free to add to any of that. So my first question is, how did Cyprus begin and who were the people and what was the original mission behind this? And I've had this kind of pegged for, for Dr. Duke. Okay. Sure. Um, well, Misty can definitely uh, add or correct <laughs> when, <laughs> okay. when, I, when I say something stupid. From my perspective, around summer 2008, I saw an article that Professor Merriman, I, I read an article by him in Japan Zine magazine when I was living in Japan. And it was about virtual worlds, language learning and teaching. And it was, it interested me because I, um, I had just started uh, a doctoral program and I thought that that would be an interesting thing to take my real life students into. So I contacted him and we met at this little seminar that he had in Kobe in real life. And then we, we planned initially to start some sort of activity in Second Life where we could bring our real life students in and, um, and hopefully connect them, mix them up since we are both university uh, instructors. And so he knew of a place called English Village, and he knew the owner. And uh, that was going to be the place where we were going to kind of start out. And uh, the um, basically, our original plan didn't happen. <laughs> the, um, <laughs> the, the biggest problem was university firewalls at my university were preventing my students from logging in during class time. So I was actually having like after class class, which I shouldn't have done, I think, legally. <laughs> but I was having after class class where we get together on our, our home computers. Mike was doing his actually in class in the computer lab. And we never ended up, you know, collaborating, you know, synchronously. So it was kind of disappointing, uh, but I did get to bring my students into Second Life, and a lot of them really enjoyed it. Um, and then when we were at English Village, go goofing around with Fire Centaur, who was the, the creator there, we met Misty, 
and Shosho. And Shosho. And Himiko, who is uh who will pop in occasionally still. Um to Cyprus. And they they kidnapped us and forced us to teach them <laughs> English. <laughs> what? <laughs> No, I think Misty, you had uh, they they were really really interested in uh, getting together a, a an English practice group, and um, they were a lot more enthusiastic than our real life students who just wanted to get in and out. <laughs> yeah, and I think that basically Misty, you offered some land to use. That's correct. Yes. Yeah. And, yeah. Those, those uh, days. Yeah. Those days. The uh, students, the learners who wanted to practice English or learn English in second life, there were many. They they just pop, popped in, right? Like to to any classes you offer. So it was great to see, and we thought it would be a great idea for us to, you know, create our own group, in our own place. So I had a little land, uh, really a small parcel, uh, the, and uh, I thought uh, I didn't really use it much. So I thought it would be a great idea to just you know use that place for a small group. And um, that was about December two thousand eight, right? That's when yes. Cyprus officially started. Yes. And. The idea was not to have a school per se, but to have like an English park and and a group, mm -hmm. so that there would be class class activities and other kinds of activities, but there would also be this this whole environment where you could practice your English and meet people who wanted to just you know speak in English, a place where like native speakers and non native speakers could hang out and have fun. So those early years in Cyprus, there was uh, there's a real emphasis on sort of not only what what happened in class, but the sort of mulling about after class <laughs> that was equally important. the The board game area was was quite popular for a very long time, where people would just come and hang out, and some many of those people would not come to classes at all. They would just come to play games and, and speak English in voice. Right. Um, and and we made so, sure that this is only voice only group. Right. We, yes. Yeah. Yes. We made sure that everybody had voice, not just text chatting. So everybody had to be checked with voice before joining the group, and uh, we tried to keep, uh, make everybody speak to really practice. Right. Why is that, Misty? Why, why, why did you do that? What do you think is important about that? Well, I think Professor uh, Merimenda Mike uh, also said that. Well, in order to be able to speak, you know, to learn to speak English or the language, you have to actually speak. You, if you're writing and reading is one thing, but you know that doesn't make you uh, give you, uh, you know, the like it doesn't give you practice of speaking and it comes from different parts of your brain right when you want to yeah. actually respond in voice uh, so many people can read and write you know when learners come to cyprus and they say oh i'm so shy i can't use voice i can't speak english very well I and mean, they can write perfect english but they say you know they're not used to uh, listening to uh, english or, or in person or speaking and conver uh, conversing in english so they need to practice. So uh, what we need, I needed practice. And uh, by the way, I am Japanese and uh, I have been, uh, I joined Duke's and Professor's classes at the beginning as a student, as a learner. And, you know, so I'm always still learning. <laughs> uh, so speaking and, you know, having fun, just having fun conversations or arguing with people or whatever, you know, that everything is a practice and that's why and well that's one reason and the second reason is that sometimes we get uh not so very nice people and they create in second life virtual world problems uh you know new avatars uh comes in to just cause problems and uh 
you know, they don't mm -hmm. often use voice or and they can, lets or them we can have it. Yeah, we can <laughs> recognize this... the same people if they come in, come back in. So yeah, <laughs> we can control, you know, the situation easier. And the, I think that was one reason why Mike was so enthusiastic about Second Life was that at that it was in 2008, I think, when they added voice, right? Mm -hmm. And that's why he was like super excited. He didn't, wouldn't have to go to Discord or some other, you know, some other voice channel, right? It was really the beginning time of yeah. voice chat in Second Life, yes. And we did have like a mission statement that you guys made, right? Did I did I approve it? <laughs> I probably I probably rubber stamped it. Yeah, that's fine. That sounds, looks good to me. But uh, it kind of reflects the 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 heart of Cyprus, and also it reflects Second Life culture at the time. So I'll I'll um I'll very quickly go over that. I'll just copy paste the, the four principles of Cyprus into oh, cool. into the local. <laughs> People are like, we have principles. <laughs> well, it, it should be um, it's, it's right there at the welcome area. Please read the yeah, walls. We, we got principles? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there's a welcome area? <laughs> um, the first one where we, um, which was share, and it said, after joining our family, members should find ways to share what they have learned. And this really reflected the, the culture of Second Life at the time, which was very much... Um, this sort of, uh, I want to say techno hippie, but it was kind of like that, where if someone new came in, there'd be like people who would be willing to just like, oh, but let me show you where this, you know, new free stuff is and here are all these gestures and here's some clothes and, and, um, and it was a very good way to start conversations. Right. And, um, I think that's why that was added. The second one after share was respect. Basically, we we were we were you're you're required to be uh, very uh, accepting of people from different cultures and backgrounds, um, and not to jump to angry conclusions about people because we're all coming from very different backgrounds. Um, and then respond, which was the third one which is basically provide feedback right and that way the the activities can be better or we'll have different activities and that's that's proven kind of useful over the years and then the last one which basically um kind of mirrors what we've been talking about with speaking is be active uh, and i think this was something that I think this is something Mike understood as as the the key point to having a a, a community in Second Life that that was going to survive, uh, that was going to stand the test of time. Because um, there are lots of groups and Sims in Second Life where people will go and there'll be a big crowd, maybe dancing to some music, but no one will be really talking in local chat. And um, it, it, you don't feel a connection to that kind of community after a while, right? Um, and mm -hmm. the idea that we need to practice in voice, and that's something that you can do uniquely here that other areas weren't doing. Um, and it was kind of new at the time, right? Because there was actually controversy regarding voice in Second Life at all, because many people who were these sort of immersive RPers, they were playing a character with their avatar. They didn't want that that immersion broken by people speaking, right? True. Um, mm, but we really took the kind of opposite side of that. It's like, no, these, these, the people who are coming to Cyprus, if they're doing role play, they're not doing it here. <laughs> not, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, you're going to you're going to be as you know, you don't have to tell us uh, anything about your background, but at least we're going to hear your your voice, right? It's really about uh, relationships. You know, mm. it, if you want to have a healthy relationship, you have to keep it up. You have to keep meeting and you have to keep communicating and doing things together. It's 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 like real life. So it it sounds like um sorry to interrupt, do go ahead. 
Oh, no, I think that's all that came to my mind. You go ahead. So it sounds like the group started uh, almost organically without any kind of rules or regulations, but you, you saw the advantage of language learning and then slowly you've kind of created this really great kind of programming that covers a lot of different bases, but voice, I think, is it seems like that was a, a key element to the vision. So I'd like to just kind of transition that, and you've, you've hit on this a little bit, but talk about the learning that happens here. Is it something that's like formally recognized, or is that kind of organic in the sense that you're hearing people's progress? You know, it's not like you're taking grades or attendance or that sort of thing. And, and even, you know, some of the students may be able to chat to this as well, but do you feel the language is improving? And how do you kind of get a sense of that? So most, like, like you already know, we, uh, we are not school and most of our activities are not based on textbooks or we don't have a set course or program or anything. The, uh, so it's hard to measure. Uh, it's all up to each person to keep learning, keep practicing, studying, whatever. Uh, one class we offer is by Yoshi's Japanese class. Uh, he does his, uh, like, a, a he uses textbooks and he has some method. Yoshi, would you like to uh, tell us about it? Yes. Uh, I don't really have any specific way of measuring how well my uh, student learner are doing. Um, but when I'm teaching Japanese, I use a popular textbook and uh, do the exercise in it with uh, my learners. And then uh, we have a little chat using the grammar we just learned. Uh, so when they get it, um, how to say, mm, I'm very happy. <laughs> uh, that's all. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I guess for me, uh, fantastic science, we take on topics that are actually, you know, very difficult. Uh, a lot of new words and a lot of science words. And I try very hard to make it fun and easy. And uh, I think the people that come all the time, they, I, they like it, I guess. Uh, I often, I will ask them, what, you know, do you have a subject you want to speak about next after we get done with something? Uh, a topic. And I mean, we have talked about all kinds of science topics, pretty amazing. Uh, and, and a lot of topics I don't, I'm not very good at. I don't know much about physics, for example, um, or astrophysics, but, you know, we talk, I try to explain uh, and summarize and find articles that are not, you know, children's stuff, um, they are adult articles, but but very well written, or maybe not. <laughs> we find lots of lots of mistakes in in the literature uh, or you know just online articles. So I tried to take an article that we can all access, and we go through it sentence by sentence, and so much of it is about pronunciation. Uh, everybody wants to pronounce pronunciate correctly, pronounce correctly, and uh, sometimes in in science it's because Latin is a common you know language in science. Latin can be pronounced any way you want because it's a dead language pretty much. <laughs> so it, it actually what? it's kind of yeah what? yeah it's a dead language. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> My three years so. of Latin, they're saying. <laughs> but no. it's uh -oh. really fun. We, we really enjoy it, I think. We laugh a lot. You know, we, we make mistakes and uh, it's okay. It's nobody <laughs> is being judged. I try very hard not to do that. 
I have a, on Cyprus Japan side, I have a reading activity for Japanese people in English and Japanese.、Uh, we read Harry Potter books, and we've been doing this. Well, well we are in the middle of thir the third book, and we've been doing this for how many years? More than six years now,、uh, I guess. It's been, yeah, each book takes a long time because we only eat,、uh, read like a couple of pages at a t、uh, once a week. And we read and practice pronunciations, and everybody, I don't do much, everybody will do their homework by like translating and checking all the, the you know, vocabularies and everything. And they do that, you know, they、uh, show what they've got. Each week, and、uh, it's it's really been fun. I love the book, so that's why I'm doing it. And、uh, everybody seems to love it too. And、uh, I think the mot motivation is、uh, really important here. And、uh, I've seen people uh, improve, uh, like、uh, really got better at their, you know, like、uh, speaking、yeah. or pronunciations and everything. So just by trying to read every week, each week. And I'm, I find it really you know, satisfying. I find it, I'm, I'm really happy that I'm doing it. I, the things I love, and you know, people are actually improving. And, and I like to attend because I want to listen to the Japanese. And while they are speaking, I'm on the computer looking at some of the words that I hear or trying to、uh, translate. You know, from the Japanese to the English. And, and it's for me, it's, it's like a puzzle. It's like a Sudoku puzzle. It's just really fun. So I like to go just to listen. And I'm amazed at the improvement、uh, that many people here have, have done. I mean, it's, it's really over the months, you know, and they work so hard sometimes, I think. Yeah. I do not work that hard. <laughs> Sorry, r e a l l y Yoshi. <laughs> yeah, it's really enjoyable. Are there any、I、other students? I... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was going to just add to what they're saying. I think what's really great about the activities here in Cyprus is that there are so many different types of activities to engage the students.、Um, so you just heard some of them. Also, I want to say that.、Um, Duke used to have this activity that actually really engaged me when coming into Cyprus, where he took us on field trips、yes. around different areas, you know, of, of、uh, just all of Second Life, not just inside, you know, Cyprus. And we, we used to explore, and then he would ask us questions、um, and get us interested in, you know, using our language and how to find things.、Um, we had to talk, you know, I remember we had to. Um, turn on our voices in like a group chat. And then we had to talk about where are we? You know, where do you go? Go straight, go left to find this or that. You know, we really had to、uh, use our language in, in, you know, just finding things using directions. Also, he has an activity where、uh, right now they go on YouTube to watch, I think, trailers of bad movies. <laughs> yeah. um, just, 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 just various, various weird little videos. Yeah, and then we discuss it. <laughs> yeah, so it, it, we really engage our students in so many ways.、Um, and also, I would, you know, sometimes、uh, put out hunts where I would、um, require students to answer English questions to reinforce what Duke used to teach about、um, correcting sentences. And so, if they answer the questions correctly, they could get a prize. So, yeah, let me I, just, I,、um, oh, oh, go ahead. No, I was just going to say thank you, Fiona, for mentioning that because I think that is the beauty of, of this place is that we do so many different, diverse things. And I just want to say that I have learned more about history from Operative Phoenix. <laughs> That I ever learned in high school、uh, is <laughs> fascinating, you know? And I just like, oh, I didn't know that. So it, it was really,、uh, I really enjoy her activity too.、Uh, there's just so much here, so, so much diversity. That's、yeah, great. Well, you, you know, Akume, on that note, I learned a lot more about science in your activity. <laughs> and, and I even joined. 
the science circle now that、oh. uh, I, I, I'm planning to get into、yeah. their project. Oh, cool. Which is like a moon based project because I, I want to learn more about science. And that was started by you, Akume. <laughs> oh, thank you. Because of your nice activity. So. <laughs> Thanks. So, I know we're coming up on the top of the hour, and I do want to be respectful of everyone's time.、Uh, how about just the students here? Could one or two of you mention, like, do you feel you've learned here? And maybe talk about that experience. Okay. Okay. I have a comment. Okay.、Uh, the, I was surprised that, uh, that uh, even the teacher donated、uh, the place. And uh, uh, it's uh, my surprise because、uh, there are many、uh, conversation s c h o o l in Second Life, but uh, uh, not being crowded more than Cyprus. The, the, the specialty of、uh, Cyprus chat is uh, the, it's uh, basically the free. And yeah, if you,、uh, you want to join it,、uh, you need 10. Uh, Linden uh, for the participating fee, but uh, uh, after that,、uh, we need no charge、uh, periodically or monthly or weekly, so that it's、uh, basically free.、Uh, but we donate many、uh, times, but uh, uh, it's a、uh, very, very nice system. Rich students、uh, can donate more, but、uh, When you,、uh, we, you have no Linden,、uh, you don't need to pay for the learning. This is a great thing that、uh, the Second Life is、uh, built on the system of economy, and、uh, we need to pay the price、uh, the, the,、uh, weekly or monthly, and it's a, a bit、uh, expensive for the, the educational、uh, people. And uh, uh, it's amazing to keep uh, this uh, uh, educational uh, circle uh, for long years. And uh, yeah, uh, on behalf of my classmates, I appreciate the, any、uh, teachers here and、uh, thank you for the teachers、uh, to donate、uh, their, by their themselves. Their, 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 And、uh, it's a great thing for us. And、uh, yes, it's a very important point of、uh, the keeping the,、uh, the activity a、uh, long time, I think. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks so much, Toku. Yeah,、uh, so we are uh, like uh, this. Group is free. Like he said, I, to, to join the group, you need 10 Lindens. But other than that, the,、uh, joining activities are all free.、Uh, we ask for donations、uh, to keep, you know, we need to keep paying for the land. But we, the, the tutors, activity leaders, we're all volunteers.、Uh, nobody's getting paid. For doing any of this. So,、uh, we thank you for your, you know, the, all the members' dedications, you know, the, the, your dedicated members. We really appreciate your contributions. And、uh, this is really wonderful that, you know, they are, you, you guys are keeping this place alive. So, I really appreciate you, everyone, for joining yes, us. Yes, definitely. Yep. And、that's how we've been doing this for years. And、um, yes.、Uh, okay. So, about Steve's question,、uh, if I may,、uh, about,、uh, about improvements. I, before I came here,、uh, I had just few、uh, people, native speakers, who told me that, oh, your English is fine. Uh, after coming here, I understand that it wasn't completely the truth.、Uh, and I learned a lot of words here. I learned a lot of, about, about my mistakes of pronunciation and stuff. And I guess I'm improved my English definitely. And as for other people, I guess I heard some people improving too. 
if speaking about Japanese, it's not so easy, unfortunately. But <laughs> I'm trying, and I think I learn more and more every time I visit uh, Yoshi and uh, Shoujo uh, activities. Yeah, you're doing great. Yeah. And everyone, uh, we've we've seen members who come here with really almost no knowledge of English. Like they can just say yes or hello, uh, yes, no, and hello. That's all. And other than that, they're using Google Translation for text chat. And uh, then years later, <laughs> they're talking. <laughs> they're it's speaking. amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. Yes, like power. Power. He couldn't speak English when he came here first many many years ago, you know. And now we can communicate in English, <laughs> and that's fantastic. You don't need to measure. We don't have any exams. Uh, we don't, you know, push everybody to do homework except for a few classes. <laughs> but yeah, they love learning, and uh, they're improving definitely. So. That's amazing. It's a, it's a great reward. I love it. I love seeing the progress. Yeah. Yeah, uh, me, I was uh, going to say something. Um, I'm one of the students. I mean, I'm the, one of the people who joined Second Life. I was learning, learning English and I learn everything here on, on this place exactly, Cyber Chat. And how did I find this place? Um, I mean, Second Life. When the first time I used the internet for my home, um, I asked my friend in real life if there is any game. You know, like I can join, I can play. And he told me there is second life, but I don't know what is it. Maybe it's a game, maybe it's community. Then I joined second life. Then after this, I met some friend. They used to come here to Cyprus and um, they found out that, um, you know, I say, hi, how are you? And that's it in the past. And um, she found out that I'm using Google Translator. And sometimes when you use Google Translator, it's not going to give you everything correct. And she told me about this place. Then I joined this place uh, for the first time. What I like about this place, um, you know, people, they respect each other and uh, everyone are welcome. And there is exact, uh, especially there is rules here, like people, they respect each other, as I told you before, like respond, respect. And um, they don't have like any discussion it cause like problem or something. So, um, uh, after like, uh, I start to attend activity here with the tutors here. Um, and after the activity, I used to practice with myself, even like preparing, you know, and I give my advice for all the students. Um, I mean, tutors, they can give you the activity. Then after the activity, you need to work on yourself. You need to work on yourself. And after a while, I proved my English and my, the professor, he called me and he told me doing a great job and stuff, you know, and he make me guide here. Guide, yeah, usually what I'm doing, like people when they come new, I guide them. I show them the places here in, in service village and um, I invite them to the group yeah. if they would like to join. And uh, thank you. Just I want to share my story. Thank you. Something that maybe people haven't touched on, but uh, for me as a student more than anything else is uh, I live in quite a rural part of the UK. Uh, so my ability to find Japanese groups in real life to practice with is pretty much zero. Uh, so it's been great just to have found this group that all I have to do is log in normally at lunchtime for me uh, and uh, I get to practice and hopefully improve my Japanese and maybe even improve some people's English, we'll see. And definitely beyond learning Japanese as well, uh, what's amazing is that, um, for example, Yoshi-san would say, <laughs> I'm uh, a nerd in certain areas of Japanese um, <laughs> culture, but you'll be surprised that other students have something other that I don't know, and I learn much more uh, beyond Japanese language, Japanese culture, also cultures from uh, where the students are from, like Russia, Poland, England, France, Saudi Arabia, and many more. And, uh, I think that's really in-depth learning. 
in my opinion. All right. Well, this has been uh, this has been exactly what I wanted. I wanted to kind of get a flavor for this group <clears throat> to kind of take a deep dive. So I thank all of you for your time. Thank you.